Greetings ladies and gentlemen. Glad to welcome you to my project. XRP will conquer the mountains. Do you guys believe it? Let's figure it out together. Let's support the channel with your likes. The main news of the day. Seasoned analyst predicts an XRP rally to $1.4 upon a trend reversal. XRP could surge to a high of $1.4 upon the reversal of the current downtrend the asset has been caught in since May 2021, according to Agrag Crypto, a notable cryptocurrency analyst. The last time XRP saw the $1.4 price point was in May of 2021. Agrag's latest forecast is influenced by a falling wedge pattern formed by XRP in its current 21-month downtrend. He highlighted two possible scenarios that could play out for the asset at its current position, a dip to $0.22 cents in the event that the downtrend is sustained and a surge to $1.4 once the trend reversal kicks in. Falling wedges are considerably number bullish and failure rate is somehow low. It can present as both 1. Continuation 0.22c is in play. 2. Reversal pattern 1.4 is in play. For context, a falling wedge pattern is a bullish reversal pattern that occurs when the price of an asset is moving downwards, but the price swings start becoming smaller and smaller down the slope, forming a wedge shape. This pattern is considered bullish because it suggests that the selling pressure is diminishing and the buyers are gaining control, a trend that could potentially lead to a price increase. Agrag believes the $1.4 price point would play out once XRP starts experiencing a trend reversal. However, he disclosed that the Fibonacci point at $0.786 would serve as a significant resistance point for the asset's price movement. Notably, if XRP can conquer the resistance at this level, its bullish run to $1.4 becomes even more likely. Most XRP forecasts remain bullish. Amid the bullish speculations regarding the outcome of the legal battle between Ripple and the US SEC, several market watchers have forecasted a potential massive rally for XRP. Analyst CryptoBull noted yesterday that the asset is currently forming a similar bottom pattern to what was observed in 2017 before its meteoric rise. Pay attention, he said. Moreover, XRP advocate and analyst Alex Cobb also forecasted a massive rally from this point, signaling that XRP is currently in the biggest triangle of all time. Though Cobb's prediction of a rise to $10 has been met with dispute, most of these contrary views still remain bullish. XRP is currently trading at $0.4096 as of press time, down 0.46% in the past 24 hours. The asset is currently aiming to establish a comfortable position above the $0.41 cents level. Despite a slight drop in value in the past 24 hours, the asset is still registering modest gains since the start of today. XRP currently has its eyes set on the pre-FTX price territory at $0.45 cents amid several bullish speculations that have emerged on the legal battle between Ripple and the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. However, the asset's goal to recapture the $0.45 cents territory is significantly hinged on its reclamation of the $0.42 cents zone. Bullish speculations on the Ripple case emerge. Despite the absence of an important court decision on the Ripple case in the past few weeks, speculations on the outcome of the litigation have gained steam, as several high-profile individuals and crypto proponents have asserted that Ripple has a better chance at winning the case. Notably, LBRY, a blockchain-based payments network, secured a significant victory against the SEC after the November 7 ruling in favor of the regulatory watchdog. The judge recently noted that the previous November 7 ruling against LBRY credits, LBC, does not apply to secondary sales of the token. The court recently established a standard that LBC, the underlying asset of the investment contract, did not constitute a security. The standard was committed on paper by the SEC. Following the enacted standard, LBRY and other individuals have claimed that XRP can also not be classified as a security. Consequently, calls for Coinbase to realist XRP emerged. Moreover, attorney John Deaton recently argued that even if Ripple once sold XRP as a security, it still does not make the token in itself a security. According to him, XRP remains of digital code. He cited previous cases when Bitcoin was once packaged as a security, but now fully classified as a non-security. Meanwhile, Ripple's quarterly report for Q4 2022 has also revealed some remarkable achievements, contributing to an increase in investors' interest. 
on-chain transactions on XRPL in Q4 2022 increased to 106 m notwithstanding a massive decline in trading volume within the broader crypto market. XRP Price Analysis Amid these bullish speculations and favorable reports, XRP looks primed to recapture the lofty position at 45 cents. Despite being subjected to the bearish headwinds observed in the broader market, XRP aims to establish a comfortable position above the 41 cents level, currently changing hands at $0.4111 as of press time. The asset is looking to conquer the 42 cents zone which would be used as a launchpad for a rally to 45 cents. Scaling through the resistance points at $0.4166 and $0.4234 would provide enough support to the bulls for the rally. XRP recently broke a trend line it's been caught in since last November, as disclosed by analyst Crypto Tony. Notwithstanding, he highlighted the asset's weak position at this point. Highlighted the asset's weak position at this point. Highlighted the asset's weak position at this point. SLA had a gain of 41% in January, making it the second highest performer in the S&P 500. Roblox New York Stock Exchange, RBLX climbed 37%, while Kathy Wood's flagship Arc Innovation Fund ARKK had its best month ever in January. In 2021, Bree's Cyan Asset Management Fund bet against both the EVMaker and the technology-focused fund, and Bree took aim at Tesla and Wood through Twitter. All of this data can give you a rough idea of how the cryptocurrency rate will move next. Everyone wants fast money, to earn a lot, and not to deny themselves anything. However, such things require an incredibly sober mind, without emotions. Always analyze over different situations. That's how I work, that's how I live, that's how my life works. You have to go for it. And it will be of course the right choice, which, by the way, will bring you good money. Not quite a bull market. Bree has been trying to dampen the enthusiasm around the recent stock market surge. On January 23rd, he sent out a tweet with a chart that showed the fall of the S&P 500 during the dot-com disaster. On the chart, he marked and read the S&P 500's rise between September 2001 and March 2002, which occurred before the index reached its lowest point six months later. The inference was that the 17% gain made by the S&P 500 from the bottom reached in October of last year might also prove to be transitory. All of this data can give you a rough idea of how the cryptocurrency rate will move next. Everyone wants fast money, to earn a lot, and not to deny themselves anything. However, such things require an incredibly sober mind, without emotions. Always analyze over different situations. That's how I work, that's how I live, that's how my life works. You have to go for it. And it will be of course the right choice, which, by the way, will bring you good money. Since the beginning of the first half of 2022, the leader of Cyan has been ringing the alarm about an impending economic calamity and has been sounding the horn on asset values for more than two years. Burry identified the greatest speculative bubble of all time and forecasted the mother of all crashes to take place during the summer of 2021. In the second quarter of last year, he likewise followed his own advice and sold all of his investments in his U.S. stock portfolio, with the exception of one. Which one, alas, we do not know, and of course no one will tell us about it. However, I intend to develop in this area further, because there are really no limits to what we can achieve. What I advise you and you. Think, analyze. The market at this point in time is not constant, and the risks are so great that they do not match the expected profits. I would be glad if you could give this video a thumbs up. Share your thoughts in the comments, it will be useful for the channel and enjoyable for me. As has already been said about Bitcoin, the situation is repeated with its little brother Ethereum. Let's get to the bottom of it. Will Bitcoin and Ethereum crash? DCG sells Grayscale Trust shares. After a long back and forth, the Genesis and DCG drama appears to be coming to a relatively smooth end after Genesis reached an agreement with DCG and other creditors yesterday, but a price crash could be looming as DCG is forced to sell shares in its Grayscale Bitcoin and Ethereum trusts. As the Financial Times reports today, Digital Currency Group has already begun selling shares in several of its most valuable Grayscale trusts at a steep discount. The sales are intended to raise capital to pay creditors from bankrupt Genesis trading. Bitcoin and Ethereum crash looming. The information is based on U.S. securities records seen by the news outlet. 
according to them, Grayscale's Ethereum Trust is currently the focus of DCG, where the group sold about a quarter of its shares in several transactions since January 24 to generate about $22 million. The company is selling at about $8 per share, although each share is entitled to $16 in Ether. This is simply part of our ongoing portfolio restructuring, DCG said. GBTC, which holds 633,000 bitcoins, appears to be untouched so far. Whether DCG also plans to sell its shares in it to raise liquidity is unclear at this time. DCG purchased nearly $800 million worth of GBTC shares from March 2021 to June 2022 in an attempt to keep the discount from rising further due to a lack of demand. This gives the company an estimated 9.67% of the trust's outstanding shares. In the event that DCG needs to raise more cash, selling these shares may seem like an option. However, selling them could have a massive impact on the discount to NAV, which is already at 43.08%. In addition, it should be noted that by law DCG cannot sell more than 1% of its outstanding shares per quarter unless it receives separate approval from the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission. In the absence of such approval, the Grayscale Bitcoin Trust sale would take approximately 2.5 years for DCG to sell its entire shares. Generally, the situation is uncertain at this time because it is not really clear if the even GBTC sales will have a direct impact on the spot market. This depends on who the Bitcoin and Ethereum Trust shares are sold to and under what terms, whether DCG allows redemptions to provide liquidity at par. A warning of a Bitcoin and Ethereum price crash would therefore be premature. It's also worth noting that DCG has initiated smaller block sales of shares in its Litecoin Trust, Bitcoin Cash Trust, Ethereum Classic Trust and Digital Large Cap Fund, according to the report. DCG and Genesis reach agreement with creditors yesterday, it became known that Gemini has reached an agreement in principle with Genesis, DCG and other creditors on a plan that will provide earn users with a path to recovering their assets. As part of this initiative, Gemini will also donate up to $100 million to earn users. Under the terms of the agreement, DCG would also swap its $1.1 billion note due 2032 for convertible preferred stock issued by DCG. In addition, DCG would refinance its existing 2023 term loans with a new junior secured term loan in two tranches to be paid to creditors in the aggregate amount of $500 million. One piece of undetermined information is at what value the preferred shares will be transferred to DCG equity. According to previous 